So let's just write this number as in standard form. Now, note something. When you are writing a number in standard form, your, your answer must be within one point or two points or what? Three points or four points or five points or six points or seven points or eight points or nine points. So your answer must be within this range. And there's a formula for expressing numbers in standard form. This formula is what? A times 10 raised to power n. This A is numbers from 1 to 9 times 10 raised to power n. n is the integer that your number will be raised to, which can be either plus or minus. Let me demonstrate it using this number. Let's express 800 in standard form. 800 is the same as 800.0, right? Now, to express this number in standard form, I'm going to move from this decimal to where I meet a whole number, a number that must be between one point one, a number that must be between one to nine, because my answer must be between one to nine, either of them. So I will move from this decimal point like this, one, two. Once I once I get to eight, eight is a whole number. I'll stop and put my decimal point. So my answer will now be from this formula. This a eight will replace a because eight is between one to ten. Eight is between one to nine. So times what ten. Raised to the power of what? 10. How many times did I move here? I moved 1, 2. So I moved 2 times. It will be what? 2. So this is just 800 in standard form. This is my answer. Now, my answer is in positive form because I moved from the right to the left. If I'm moving from the left to the right, my answer will be in negative. My answer will be minus. Okay, let me just express this one in standard form. Already there is this small point here. So what I'm going to do is I'll move from the decimal point. I'll move one, two. So once I get a whole number, I'll stop. I'll, I'll put my point here. So this becomes what? 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 4. How many times did I move here? One, two. So raised to the power of 4 minus 2. So this is just it. Bye.